what is going on it is week 46 i believe veterans day 2024 i figure why not multitask my son's at lacrosse practice right now figure recap talk about uh some things that i had listed out for this week hope everybody's recovering from these eight races marathons and uh you know all the like it's tough right now season change it's just you know it, People try and get back at it as far as, uh, you know, when they're done with their A race and trying to figure out what the next move is. And it's tough. A lot, people, Some people lack a motivation. Uh, I go back to the rule of thirds. And uh, if uh, all is balancing well, a third of the time, you're, you know, it's just going to be mediocre. Uh, a third of the time, it's going to feel great. You're going to feel energized. You're going to be out there crushing it. Uh, and a third of the time, you're just going to feel like crap uh kind of like me right now i'm exhausted i had a long training weekend looking forward to uh getting home after this and just relaxing and then just get back on with the week get a good night's sleep tonight um and then uh you know but uh, a few things i've been trying uh training peaks virtual the cycling app very similar to zwift so far so good the only thing that i noticed that uh you know just you got to think about and this leads into another part of the talk real quick and that's why i want to bring it up is this ties into both of it is if you have a garmin watch you notice that it gives you statuses productive unproductive strained uh peaking recovering you know kind of gives you a, a volume or, or kind of how you should feel and people make fun of it you know they uh you know think they're you know they go for this long run and their watch tells them they're unproductive and all these things but just uh i can do a whole video on basically how it comes up with all those numbers but what we really want to take away from it is anything you put into your garmin uh, activity wise it, it's a strain a training stress load kind of like the tss and training peaks and it's going to track that it's also going to track your sleep and all that so if you want to really pay attention to those numbers uh, i would recommend you wear your watch 24 hours a day wear it to sleep charge it put it back on wear it for all your activities make sure garmin connect is getting all of your activities inputted in there whether it's from your your cycling computer your garmin cycling computer you're logging all your runs you get accurate data that's like wearing a heart rate strap making sure your heart rate data is good because if you're not getting accurate data put into your watch or the actual activity that you're doing it's going to read completely off um, and why i say this is because one of the metrics that garmin uses their training stress Zwift has a kind of a partnership with them. So if you do a workout on Zwift and it loads your workout over to uh, Training Peaks and Zwift, uh, from Zwift to Training Peaks, Strava, all that other stuff, it goes into Garmin as well. It will calculate that training stress load appropriately and it will put it into your week's volume for Garmin. Problem with some other cycling apps like uh, Rovi and Full Gas and at one of the times I use them at the very least, and specifically now the Training Peaks virtual app is if you, you can connect it to Strava through there and uh, Training Peaks, so it'll push your workout data when you're done, because I use it on a computer, um, and it would push the data there. There's no option for the Garmin Connect right now. It's blocked out, probably because they don't have the right to, uh, to push through to that app yet. It's still in testing. I'm hoping it comes through. But you could, you know, there are third-party apps where you can then, um, I use RunGap, Take that workout data and it, you can push it into garmin and it will load that it says that you did a cycling workout but the problem is if you do it that way it doesn't have any training stress it'll show that you did a cycling workout for a half hour an hour or whatever you did but it's not going to load in the appropriate training stress so what that really means is you could go three days hard on this program and, and siphon your data third party into garmin connect you'll have the mileage and everything like that but it's going to show that you didn't have any training stress for three days so it's going to say recovering uh unproductive something silly like that so i've noticed because i'm very consistent with my data my inputs and making sure that my power data is correct my heart rate data is correct that when i do that that it does play nice it kind of tells me uh when i'm at, especially if your zones are set up too that's very important it's going to show that you are productive because you're doing the appropriate amount of training volume versus uh for the week for the seven days based off your recovery based off some sleep habits based off the hrv all these things come into play so you really got to make sure that everything is up to snuff and accurate if you want to make sure your garmin is if not it's just going to tell you all these crazy things um so what happened to me the other day is 
Uh, I forgot to, because well, the way around that is if you're going to use one of these apps, you have to log it on your Garmin watch as well. You have to log it as an indoor cycle. Make sure your heart rate and your power from your trainer are logged on there. You're going to stop your watch at the end, save it. That puts it into Garmin Connect. That gets you your, your stress score, just like as if you were using a Garmin computer outside. Only thing you got to worry about that is if you are pushing data as well from these programs, you have to watch out for duplicate data, such as going into Training Peaks. So anything on my watch goes into Training Peaks. Anything from Training Peaks Virtual goes into Training Peaks. So if I'm logging this thing multiple ways, that's now going to throw your stress score off on Training Peaks. So it's just one of these things, you know, when you're done working, doing a workout, you just kind of kind of peek in your apps and see where things are loaded. If it's a double workout, I know like the form swim goggles are notorious for that. If you're using them on your the swim goggles and you're using it on your watch as well, uh, and you save them, it's going to load two swim workouts at the same time and double your training stress score and all that other stuff. So just some housekeeping things if you're interested in keeping accurate tabs on your data and things like that. Because uh, I really, you know, we can't use even the metrics in Training Peaks if you're loading in multiple workouts all the time because it's going to look like you're training double what you're really training. Uh, so enough of that. That's uh, hopefully they fix that on the Training Peaks virtual cycling app because it is pretty fun. I've been using it and uh, loaded a workout in there, did some of their workouts, and I kind of like the layout of all the data and stuff like that. So I'll continue to play around with it and let everybody know how that is going. Um, and then some other things. Um, see what we're working on is you know uh some of you saw a sneak peek at a um oh, one of these uh the talks presentations that i'm working on was uh mental health and endurance sports i'm going to save that till 2025 january and i'll put that out and it's uh pretty good it just kind of gives like uh an overview on some things uh some things to look out for uh but you know just remember that endurance activity running whatever it is uh, it's an outlet. It's awesome. It does, you know, help with, uh, you know, as people say, battling those demons inside and things like that. But remember, it is a stress also. So if you have a lot of stress going on in your life and you're trying to use this to alleviate that stress, it's not actually technically alleviating that stress. Not, um, oh, maybe acutely you'll feel better that day or maybe that night uh, or you had a good run or something like that. But it's really not fixing the problems that you're kind of out there trying to, to, to solve. And uh, that stress in life, whatever it may be, family, work, job, money, uh, that is, and I talk about this in uh, my recovery video that I've done, uh, is a stress on the body. And it produces cortisol and things like that. Endurance training also produces stress, another type of stress. So really you're just doubling up on stress if you're not actually dealing with the things outside of endurance and, and doing your self-work and self-care on those actual issues. And then yes, if you're doing that, then I think endurance sports can definitely alleviate some of the, uh, the, the stress in life and, and help with that. They do work well together. They just can't be uh, used uh, conjointly to uh, solve the world's problems, that's for sure. So there'll be more about that talk to some things to look out for in there. Uh, it's I, you know pretty good talk, I think, uh, that we'll put out there and it'll be good to get it, you know, uh, come January for everybody who's on board for 2025 uh, coaching wise. And uh, I'm trying to think what else I had on the agenda for tonight's talk, um, but kind of think that's uh, kind of just about it for tonight. Um, hope everybody's doing well. Uh, holidays are coming up so it's going to be busy you're going to be in and out make sure you're just doing what you're supposed to be doing getting out there keeping some training having fun eating mostly the right foods uh staying away from the the stuff that's really gonna really you know just uh not help your goals that you may have i know some of you signed up for some local races that's awesome uh, some things in the works for some people on for next year, some talks, and I'm excited to uh, try and figure that out for myself over the next 30 days or so and come, come out with that for what I have planned for next year. But for now, I just want everybody to uh, just keep having fun out there, stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, just get after it. You know, start mixing in that strength training. Stay, stay limber. These post-season uh, post and seasonal change blues, you know, are going to make some of your workouts feel like crap. And that's okay. Just enjoy the days where it does feel good. And, uh, and just make sure you're having a little fun out there. Go do something new. Go run in a new spot. Run at a different time of day. Go see something new. Run with an old friend. Something. But for now, everybody, stay safe, stay healthy. Keep balancing that life one mile at a time. I'll see you all soon.